What's up guys? Welcome back. And as you can see, I now own an elytra. Before the ender dragon. A friend got me this after I died and lost everything in the nether. As you can see. Yeah, it's pretty cool that the elytra matches with your capes. Mm, that's a nice touch. And as you can see, I've been busy. I've raided a ocean monument and decorated the area. Yeah, added some tiki torch and these rubber duckies. Look at them. The rubber duckies. And this one is missing a wing because I don't have silk touch. Yeah. Shave of the. And that clothesline, I think that's pretty cool detail. And then some pebbles, and look, I made the enchanting place look better. Also, you can see that there's someone has been moved here. I think you can take a guess. Yeah, we, got, we now got a sp spider farm. Let's see. After that, we went end busting and I didn't record most of it. And this is all I got. This is the loot after I went end busting. It's... It's all right. Pretty good loot. Got a pretty shallow though. Oh. And look, it's a ship. And I took that Elytra and gave it to my friend. Right now, boom, I built this spider f s shop. We're gonna sell string. It's gonna be such a successful shop. Look at this. I came up with the design, uh, and this, this like loom thing. What's it called? Yarn? Um, it looks kinda cool. With the never friend fence, whatever that is, and I don't know which design better, the the one with the fence on top or no fence. It's, it kind of looks like a cotton candy. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we're we're gonna be rich. I'm telling y'all, the most successful shop ever. And here's the area around here. They're been people living so guys this is a leaf road you know what that means it's enderman farm time and here it is the, the first concept I've I've gone for a bastion a ruined bastion looking farm type of look I wanted to make it different every time I make one of these farms I think it has a lot of potential. So yeah, there's gonna be water around and it's gonna be like a flooded bastion. It, it, it'll be cool. And here's the technique. I go up there and I spam. I spam random block, random places. I'm showing you this footage because it's so sad. It's such a sad clip. <laughs> it took me one stack.
Oh my god, and I almost died. I almost died. And I almost died. Oh my god. I'm so sad. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to die to an ender mine. With full armor. Full diamond armor. And I didn't even think to put an axe in my inventory. So yeah guys. The farm is finished. It's not the final look, but it's close enough. We got center, we got circle platform instead of a square. I thought it'd be more interesting with a circle. And we got water running through down of it to connect the upper section down to the bottom. And it's gonna be a flooded bastion. There's going to be water going through everywhere, and it will look very nice. But yeah, it's a pretty cool place. I'm. It's better than my base at this point. And here it is, the final design. I added some more water and turned on shaders. This is my favorite pick. The shaders go so hard. After that, I went to my friend's house and we we're gonna place this item frame and boom, a horse head on a bed. Now I don't watch Godfather, but I hope he will and he'll get the reference. Cause I don't. <laughs> boom. And here we are. The end dimension. And here. We're gonna go to the moon. That's right. That's right. It's a flying machine. It's a four-way flying machine. I'll show you. It's uh, designed by um, Dylan D that I use. Yeah, check him out. He, he got a pretty cool YouTube channel. Pretty underrated. And this is his design. Four-way flying machine. I, the, the name is just cool enough. And the machine, it's two times as cool. And here it is. This is like after the test run with my friends and I just rebuilt it because you sh you see why in a moment you see why in a moment and I'm gonna show you how it works we uh, get some buttons and some torch okay it's set to zero it's not skipping through the night Oh, and my friends is talking over at Discord. So yeah, this is how the machine works. You sit on the minecart in the direction you want to go, right? What am I doing? No, I just double checking the machine. You always gotta do that. So you place a button on a pit on a piston dot, right? And then you hold on to a minecart. And it will go that direction. But here's the thing. I got kicked mid flight. Yeah, you left. For flying. You left. So I have to like you were in the flying machine and you got disconnected? Oh my god. <laughs> was it, was it took it me four around? hours to reassemble the machine. So here is the clip of the first run of the machine. It's It was working just fine.
It's a brilliant design. And I was gonna take my friends to uh, the end ship because he died and lost his elytra. But I forgot. I gave him a curse of binding chest plate. So we have to go back to kill him. And then I asked him, hey, can you stop the machine, man? He's like, alright. I ain't stop it. And then he's just messed it up. And then it fly away. Oh my god. Many hours of my life has been fixing this machine. <laughs> so yeah, guys. See you soon in the video. And see you in the next video. I guess.